are prepared. So I am doing hot pink pomegranate for um, the unicorn soap. Now I've never made a unicorn soap and honestly I'd rather have a um, uh, a little, what do you call it, a little horn mold to make, but since I didn't have a horn mold, what I did was I made these little pink and purple, this looks red to me, but pink and purple embeds out of melt and pour soap. So pretty. All right, so let me get my oils heated up. Oops, oh dear. Okay, so I'm heating my oils and I try to soap at about a hundred, oops, sorry, about a hundred and, <laughs> why we have to take it in? I just dumped water stuff all over my computer, don't tell Mike. Um, <laughs> uh, I try to heat, at, or I try to soap at about a hundred and, to 120 degrees, just depends. Right now my lie is at 110, so that's what I'm gonna go for. Now, if you guys wanna learn how to make soap, Gina will put the link in there for the How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course. And it is, it's okay. <clears throat> what is happening? Okay, something is happening. <laughs> Here it is. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. That's weird, I've never had it do that before. <laughs> well, it's just because I'm new and it has to make it complicated for me. Um, yep, there you go. Then do you know how to copy and paste? Okay. Um, I didn't know if you were a Mac or PC person. Yeah, I'm learning. Okay. You got it? Mm -hmm. No? No. Right down. Oh. See, this is not you. This is the computer. Okay, what do we got going here? Just a second, guys. I'm just trying to paste that e course. Hold on, Let's something see. happened here, and we're trying to get it back into going. Do, 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 do. Okay, what is going on? This is very weird. And we're back. Okay. There you go. Now just copy and paste it. All right. So let's see. So I'm nuking my oils for a few minutes here to get them up to 100 degrees. They're 94. So let me go just a tad more. Um, now, at different temperatures affect your soap differently. So higher temperatures, lower temperatures, it affects how quickly your soap set up, sets up, it affects glycerin rivers, those kinds of things. In my e-course, I talk about how to do that. I won't go into the details now, but um, that's, on here. It's pasted. that's why it different, or that's why different soapers soap at different temperatures, just depending on what they're doing. Yes. What? Oh, you're good. Oh, okay. I thought you were showing me. It's post. I did you get it on there good? It. Yep. Okay. Um, good. Everything is reversed in this video, Joyce says. Yes, because I'm on the iPad and not on the webcam, it will be reversed. Sorry about that, but that's just the way it goes. So, we, um, on our live shows, we have a special webcam. But since I do it by myself, I just do, um, I just do the iPad since it's just me. Kimberly, if you bought it, it came right away into your email. So check your spam filter. If it's not in your spam filter, the e-course, then email us, go to Living I Dime, click contact, and we will resend it to you. Some places have a harder, like Hotmail we're having problems with and MSN we're having problems with. Yeah. Suzanne would like to know, where did you get those square pictures? Okay. So you can get these on my Amazon store, but they also have them. Yep. They also have them at Sam's and Costco. So, um, you can get them both there. And I really like them. The only thing I don't like about these is when I put them in the dishwasher, it like etches them. Hmm. Yeah, you can't see because the soap's, well, you can kind of see, well, you can't see, see like here? 
it's like etched. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Kinda... So I don't not sure why it's like that, but it is. So all right, so I'm gonna tip you guys down here. Boop, there you go. So you can see the action. here trace is when you can see it leaves a dots on the top okay can you guys see that so that's where we're at with that all right let's see unicorn so I'm making this pink purple and white so here's my pink right here this one's glamour pink and here is my purple then I'm gonna put a fairy dusting of snowflake glitter. I was trying to remember what one this was called. Snowflake glitter. And guess what I forgot, guys? You didn't remind me. My fragrance, again. <laughs> I always forget. It's like every other batch I forget my fragrance. Okay. Can you smell fragrances or does it make you sick? Mmm, that's delicious. Do you like it? Like I it. forgot. Are you allergic to fragrances and I'm shutting it up your nose? No, it's okay. Okay. No, I just can't have it all over my skin. Okay. <laughs> I'll just break out and we'll take another trip to the hospital. It'll be great. We'll get you. this down, huh? <laughs> okay, so I got my fragrance in there. Now, today I'm soaping at full water, which means I did not do a water discount because I wanted to do a swirl so let me think let me think let me think I'm trying to decide how much white and purple I want okay so set this back here Darling from New York <gasps> Very um okay so unicorn soap is usually pink and purple and glittery so I think what I'm gonna do is just swirl the pink, purple, and the white, and then do a spoon on the top to make it look kind of snowy, kind of. And I know unicorns aren't snowy, but I mean just that kind of cloudy, mm -hmm. like a cloud is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Not really snow, cloud. Um, okay. All right, any questions? Not yet. Okay. Uh, Donna loves the Valentine's Day decorations. Thank you, Donna. Is that Donna Sinesco? Donna Miller. Oh, Miller. Okay. Yes. And Thank we have you, Darlene from New York. Woohoo! Joined us. She's okay, so I'm doing fun. two different purples here. And I don't know why I'm doing that, just because I decided to as I was pouring it. <laughs> In honor of Prince. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Oh, okay. my goodness. I like it. Am I like the only person in the world who didn't ever listen to him? I think so. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, you are. Apparently. <laughs> I never listened uh, to Prince. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I feel like I have missed out on something. So, huh? We reached him. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Now, where did my spoons go? Whoops. So Renee is wondering if we can rotate the screen. No. We cannot. Renee. Apparently it's really disturbing so everyone. Sorry. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> the thing is on the I What are you doing there? On the iPad, it switches everything and I just can't. I'm sorry. I am putting titanium dioxide in here and this is going to make it white. Okay? And afterwards, if you guys want to see me cut some soap, I'm going to cut some soap from last night's show and a couple of nights before. So if you want to watch, stay to the end. We can do that. Okay, so I'm mixing this in. And that's not very white because my... If you guys noticed, my fragrance was slightly yellow, so it's going to take a lot more to get this white. Can they see? Okay, and I do have a bunch.
bunch of soaps back on my Etsy store. Or I'll have Gina put that link on. <laughs> This one right here is white tea and ginger that I made yesterday. And the orange, so the brown hit the gold and some for some reason it turned orange on the top. So I was not planning on that on that one, but it did. So I was a little sad about that. But it actually smells really good and looks really good anyway. So it's just a happy accident. Did you ever watch Bob? Bob, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. <laughs> Friendly little tree over here. <laughs> yes. We have Trees. Happy clouds. And the link for the Etsy store is up. Okay. okay, so I got my white in, so now I'm gonna do pink. And this is gonna be, yeah, you guys can still see. This is gonna be my pink here. And I'm making these super, super vibrant. So I'm using way more mica than I normally do. Like I'm using double because I want this to be really bold and really pretty. So that's what I'm doing. And there. Okay. okay you okay? Your comments that are coming up there. So scroll up. Right there. There you go. That's where they're at. Right here? Yep. Okay. This is where the last of the comments okay, are. Great. Oh, let's see. Unpin that one. I don't know why it pinned. Oh, uh, right there. Unpin comment right there. Oh, sorry. Never had that happen before. Okay. okay. All right, so now I'm mixing my pink. And when you mix your colors, go from lightest to darkest so you don't have to keep rinsing your stick blender. It saves you some time. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, I'm liking that, guys. That's pretty Wow, that is really pretty. I thought it would be. Okay, so I changed my mind in midstream, and I was going to make this a light purple, but I think I'm going to do just two, just do total dark. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit more purple in. Okay. see well you can't really see I just hit my arm and got a little bit of the lye solution the soap it's not turned to soap yet on my arm my arm is oops there you go my arm is not melting away guys <laughs> everybody has this impression that, that if you get common misconception? yeah everybody okay. thinks if you get lye on your skin it's gonna melt away it doesn't I'm just gonna wash real quick just to get it off That's all you do. Just wash it with some soap and water and you'll be fine. If it leaves a small burn, you can put some aloe or however you want to normally treat burns. Okay, so now I'm going to get my molds. Do you have any questions while I'm getting my molds? Or is everybody just staring with bated breath? Mesmerized. Mesmerized. The purple and the pink. <laughs> That purple and pink is really pretty. <laughs> I'm loving it myself, but and the okay. unicorns. And the unicorns. <laughs> All right, so I lined. I am having the great mold crisis. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Oh yeah, a lot of people have heard of it, and a lot of people aren't happy with me about it. <laughs> so I had molds that I used to recommend frequently. You can go to my YouTube channel. Uh, Gina will put the link in there. I used to recommend these one particular molds and then they started failing after only using them nine months and they were supposed to be lifetime molds. So now I'm working on trying to figure out what to do for molds because I don't like lining molds with freezer paper. It just takes too much time and I don't have the patience for it. So, I'm trying trash bags, unused of course, and um, you, you, you can get that if you need no, it's okay. And um, 
I'm not liking the trash bags very well. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go and just buy a whole nother company. So, I don't know. So you guys are probably gonna see a ton of different molds between now and when I figure out what I'm doing. It's totally okay. Um, because I just can't quite get the freezer paper down. I don't know what my problem is. I guess I'm just freezer paper lighting impaired. But uh, I'm going to try Essential Depot probably next and see. Okay, so there's my purple. That is looking pretty. Okay, now here's my pink. Looking so pretty. Everything okay? Yep. Okay. All right, and I'm trying to evenly put these in. And let's see. Holy Ooh, macaroni! Yeah. We have almost a thousand people. Thank you guys. I love the way that Man. looks. That's I am beautiful. like happy. This is turning out so pretty. Okay, and then my how to make soap for beginners e course. Gina will put it in I there. Did. It's up. Okay. And yeah, you can. All right, so now I'm just gonna do what's called a oops, where'd my bowl go? Do what's called a spoon swirl for this, and I'm just gonna go in and just gently twirl it. Not a lot. I don't want the colors to mix. I just want them to just very lightly, kind of come in. Okay. Now, there we go. Okay, so we got that. Now, my white is not very set up. See how loose that is? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit while I mix up the next batch, let this get thicker, and then I'm gonna spoon this and make it look cloudy on top, okay? Can we turn the sound up? No. No. Can't. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Not. On your Facebook page, though, there's on the bottom a little speaker. And make sure. Oops, I forgot to count these. Hold on. Okay. Um, on your Facebook page, there's a little speaker on the bottom. Make sure that is turned up, and you will be able to do it that way. I can't do it. Okay. Doing a different process. And the soap literally bubbled up and just was go um my towel has soap on it. It's just a wash rig. Perfect. Um and I had soap all over the counter. How many people saw that one? Remember my big great soap explosion? Ugh. I need to refresh, I think. Why does it I don't think I'm getting you? Okay, so hit the back button and we'll try again. Alright, so now I have my cute little embeds, and all right, yeah, I have my cute little embeds. So now I'm gonna take my soap. Wow. Hold on. You didn't slam those on the counter. Oh no, I didn't. Thank you. Okay, so okay. So you pound them on the counter to get the air bubbles out so that you, you don't have holes so in your soap. Good. Thank you. These guys. Okay, Ella would like to know where do you buy your colors and scents? I can post that link. Okay. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, okay. okay. So that's just my supplies for making it. So for my colors, I buy them at Rustic Essentials. Rustic Essentials. Dot com or there's not a link for that one. Or um, Nature's Garden. And I will say Nature's Garden is my favorite at the moment. I'm really liking Nature's Gardens fragrances. RusticEssentials.com or Nature's Garden. Yep. Those are where I'm getting my fragrances now. Um, my soap colors I get from Nurture Soap or Micah's and More. And um, those seem to be performing really well for me. <laughs> Maureen heard the dog and was wondering what the clicking sound was. <laughs> I know, poor Mike, he goes nuts. 
See, Mike used to be a professional video producer, so like the dog clicking in the background just would not happen <laughs> in a professional, you know, TV studio. So having to um, deal with downgrade, it. so to speak. <laughs> downgrade. <laughs> so Mary has a question. How is the other white? Is it set up enough for you to pipe it on your unicorn soap? I am not piping it, and yes, that is what I just put on right here. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to do like a fluffy cloud, okay? But this is still not real set up, so I'm going to have to let it set up some more. Man. Amanda would like to know who made your molds. Uh, a neighbor made my molds, but... It's kind of blurry what some people are saying. It's kind of is blurry. Is it still blurry, you guys? That's hmm. weird. Okay. It's not blurry over here, but that doesn't mean anything. I just, I'm not sure what it would be. What okay. soap do you use again so it cuts grease? Uh, Heather. Dawn, the Dawn, it just, it does really just work the best from what I've, um, found in my soap. Okay. Savannah adventures. would like to know, I've been looking for someone that can do black and red mint rose soap. Do you know of anyone? Well, I can do it for you. I do special orders. So if you want, I don't have those fragrances right now, but if you want a special order, um, Go to my Etsy store, okay. Gina will put a link in there, and send me a conversation, and I can tell you my wholesale prices for doing whole loaves. Um, for a special order like that, it would probably be a whole loaf, but, um, okay, so this just isn't really holding up yet. What size are your trays? Um, these molds hold six pounds of soap. So, okay. Hold on, mister. It was uh, almost just lavender teal soap. <laughs> it's when we what? spilled. <laughs> it was. She said it was almost lavender teal soap. Yeah, no mm -hmm. kidding. Oh, man. Okay, now. Let's see. One second here. Let me let the dog in. So that Gina can keep up on the comments. Come on, Buster. Yes, Buster is going to be handsome tomorrow. Wow, that is. A couple people are wondering what you're doing. So I'm making homemade <laughs> soap, and I just do it as a hobby because I like it, and I just happen to have enough people that want to watch me make it that I do it live on my Living on a Dime. Facebook channel and then I have a how to make soap YouTube channel Gina will now put the it. link on it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my glitter Whoa, it's coming out the wrong end Okay, it's squishing out the wrong side. Hold up. Now let me technical difficulties. Yeah Let me see if I can poke at them Apparently it's clogged Okay, let's try that. You okay? Yeah, we're just pasting okay. the E course. Okay, it's coming out the edge instead of the end. <laughs> Don't know why it's doing that because I can see. Hmm. I have a new little puffer bottle coming that I'm anxious to try that all the soapers are using. <sighs> oh, that's probably why. There. Okay, here we go. Did we answer where we get the colors? I get the colors from um, Nurture Soap or Micah's and More. Micah's and More, she only, it's a group co-op type thing and she only orders once a month. So, and then it takes like two or three weeks before she even ships them. I know. I feel like I'm in one of those shake. Do you feel like you're in a wonderland? <laughs> feel like you're in a snow globe? It's really quite magical actually. <laughs> It's magical. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay. So, that is looking all fairy dusty like, and so are Gina and I. <laughs> Mike's yeah. going to come home and say, woohoo! <gasps> all right. Yeah. Look, can you guys see all the glitter on my arm? <laughs> All right, now, 
All right, so there's pink, purple, pink. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, purple, pink, purple. Okay, so I try to get, when I had my old mold, I tried to get 16 bars, and now I'm trying to get 17 bars since I'm not using the liners. I can squeeze a couple more bars out of this. And so hopefully I'll get 17 to 18 bars out of here and then a few samples. Um, yeah. Not glaring anymore, so we're good. Okay, it might have been an internet problem. Sometimes when the internet has a little hiccup, it okay, does so weird things. Ella said I made a first batch along, but I think I will do melt and pour next time as I found the process quite hard. To make, well, it is a learning curve. I mean, you're not gonna just get it down right away, but it's not so difficult that, I mean, I have people all the time that sit down and just do it right away. The thing, the thing that you need to do is practice with plain soap first and get the process down for um, just getting the soap made and then mess with colors and fragrances. Just start with some unscented or some uh, fragrance, easy fragrances like just plain lavender, that kind of thing. That's the way to start. And then um, what blender? What is the blender you use? Um, so wants to know? it's in my Amazon store. It is a Cuisinart. Gina will put the link up That's there. That it. is the one that I got um, off of Amazon. I'm not even counting. I don't even know how many I have on here. I'm just kind of... Willow reminded us to not forget Buster outside. <laughs> Thank you, Willow. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Woohoo! I got 18 bars. Now, I did put these closer together because these are taller bars. And I usually sell my soaps by weight. And so since these are taller, I... Um, got more in here. Why do you spray? Sandra wants to know. So this is rubbing alcohol and um, it prevents soda ash which can form on the top of your soap and it also helps hold the glitter down. So that is why I spray with 91% or 99% rubbing alcohol. And what type do you have a special glitter that you use? Meredith wants to know. Yes I also get my glitter at Nature's Garden. No, at Nurture Soap. Nurture Soap is where I get my, my glitter. And it is a soap safe glitter. If you just go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or anything like that and just get that glitter, it is pretty rough and will scratch your skin. Hmm. So that could be for a very, well, it could be very exfoliating if you want, but it could also be for a very unpleasant bath experience. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. Here's my very beautiful soap that got ruined. Let me show you. I have a bar right here. This is what it looks like cut, but I don't know. Can you see how oily that is? I mismeasured my oils and got way more oil than my lye. So what I'm doing is I'm just crumbling it up with my hands just like so into the crock pot. I already made one batch here and ugh, just sick. So what I'm doing is I'm just picking off all of these embeds because I can still <clears throat> reuse these embeds, stick them in there. And then I'm going to smash this up with my hands and put it in the crock pot with a little bit of water and rebatch it. Here's the batch I made before. Same loaf, looking good. So, it's a pretty color. I think it'll be all right. Lots of moisture. All right, so I have it broken in two. Now I'm just taking, just smashing it up. It's kind of hard to do because I'm holding the camera. I don't feel like getting the tripod out. And 
Just smashing up all that glorious color. Ugh, so disgusting. But that's all right. At least it's still usable. Not the lovely swirls that I had in mind, but I I could grate this, but honestly, it just goes so much quicker just smashing it with my hand that it's not even worth messing with. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to get it all smashed up. Be right back. Okay, there it is, all smashed up in the crock pot. I have about a cup of water in there, and I got it on high. Okay, so it's been cooking for about an hour. You can see right there, it's starting to bubble, so I'm going to give it a stir. Now, let me see if I can do this while I'm filming. I don't know if I can. Okay, we get all up. And what it's going to start doing is it's going to start cooking around the edges. And then you just cook and stir. You can see how it's starting to cook right down there. Cook and stir, cook and stir. We're remelting all the soap and then recooking it for hot process. And then it will be good to go. Oh man, this smells divine. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep cooking and keep stirring. Okay, now this looks kind of creepy. But you can see here how this is cooked. So this is probably pretty close to soap. Um, then, let me stir. It's kind of hard to stir and hold the phone. Get all mixed up. So I've had this cooking for two hours on high in this particular crock pot. So this could take a while, but when you're not going from the start, it does take longer because you're having to reheat and kind of melt all the soap to begin with. So, all right, so we'll be back. Okay, so now you can see we're full into hot process now. This around the edges is finished soap. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks kind of Vaseline-y. This here is almost soap, and this here is soap that's still cooking. So we're gonna get it stirred up. Oh yeah, look at it, lovely. Oh man, this smells so good. My house is smelling so good right now. Whoops, there's my timer. So it's already been cooking two and a half hours, which is quite a long time. Oops, sorry about throwing you in my trash can there. That's just what you guys want to see, huh? Oops, and now I'm flinging soap all over. Okay, so I'm gonna let this cook probably another half an hour. Okay, you can see most of it is turned now. Mm, the center needs to cook just a little bit more. I can feel it's not quite all. I can just feel that it's not quite all done yet. All right, so we're going to let it cook for just a few more minutes. Okay, so it's totally done. You can see. Look at all that yummy goodness. And I'm going to start putting it in my molds. Okay. You can see I have it piled super high in my mold. Now I did that for a reason because there's so much water in here, the center usually sinks and leaves like a concave bar. So if I pile it up super high in the middle, it won't sink. When it sinks, it won't you won't notice it as well. So I'm just gonna keep while this starts hardening. I'm just going to keep piling it back on and then probably tomorrow or maybe, I don't know, a couple days. I may wait a couple days and let it really get good and thick and then we will cut it.